And these charges come on the same day the Ohio Amber Alert Advisory held their first meeting since the twins were abducted. Caleb Michael was at today's meeting. Caleb, they say, though, there were some mistakes that cost them valuable time. Yeah, Jen, there were some mistakes and what was evident today is that issuing an Amber Alert, especially a statewide one like we saw for Kason and Kyrie Thomas, it's complex. There are multiple agencies that are all working towards the same goal, but things need to go down a certain way for that to be possible. One of those issues, like you kind of mentioned, was inconsistent messaging. When a child is abducted, the agency reporting it needs to issue an Amber Alert code or an AA code to the National Crime Information Center expeditiously. According to the Ohio State Highway Patrol, when Columbus police contacted their watch desk commander, it was agreed criteria was met to issue the alert. However, the AA code was not submitted until 5 a.m. That's hours after the alert had already gone out. Captain Ron Rain says that this will not be an option moving forward. If they're not able to do that immediately or they don't have the staffing to do it, if there's going to be any delay in getting that done, we will do that for them. So the AA code isn't, isn't absolutely necessary for an Amber Alert process to be done, but that coming out on the front end expedites the process. Commander Rain says they will be communicating very clearly the importance of getting that AA coded and how many agencies will be notified by doing so. He also says they aim to get the Amber Alerts out in, within an hour of a child being reported missing. And if I sign it, I'll tell you what changes they're making so that that does consistently happen. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Caleb Michael, NBC4.